Well, what's up guys, it's Galaxy and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make AVI logos with any clan. So first what you're going to want to do, open up Photoshop and make sure you get your logo. I'm using Synergy for this one. So open up a new tab or whatever. 800 by 800, that's just the standard logo size. Change this to a layer, double click to get the blending options. I'm gonna put a gradient on it. This is my um like my um default gradient icon. Um I usually use this one for all pretty much every single one. Every single AVI I, I do, so okay there. Make sure you're on the right layer. Drag this in over here. Oops resize it and press shift here to keep the um, right size so, um, put it um, there that's good go um, first just like this just what well, I do I just rasterize the style you don't have to do that but I just like that doing it now, now make sure you're on the um, logo Go to edit, transform, or warp, and then just bring this out slightly. It'll make it with the 3D part, it'll look a lot nicer. Um, you don't really need to do it with this one, but from other logos, I'd usually like rotate it a little bit. I'll do it um, just a little with this one. So now you have your logo right there. Now, control J to duplicate it move this one underneath control J again and then control T to transform change these to 99 and 99 ok there ok twice to um, yeah. then control shift and alt and then keep on pressing T and you want about 20 of these extra ones and then move down press shift click and they will all highlight then right click and merge layers now on your front layer double click for blended options I'll just quickly put a colour overlay on but you won't want this the whole time this is just so you can see what you're doing so a stroke I'm going to put it inside change the colour to white move it in just a little bit add an inner shadow Just, just this path, personal preference, whatever you really want. I like it, not too much, just a little bit. So, get rid of the color overlay now. Go on to the back layer, change the color, and put this not white, but just a bit light, not lighter and darker than white. And put a drop shadow on, opacity up, and distance right down. Make sure you always put the distance down for drop shadows. That's nice. Um, now what you're going to want to do? You're going to want to. I'll just open it up here. Open up your image. Image you'd like to use. Um, for the tutorial, um, which one should I use? I'll use. How's that one? This one, Rubik's Cube. It's just. This one will be a lot easier and quicker to do, so that's the only reason I use this. You can use all sorts, just make sure it's like got a nice sort of effect on it. So move this up to the top, right click and create clipping mask, and that puts inside of that. And now I duplicate it, control J, zoom in a bit so you can get perfect. It probably won't be perfect now, I'm just doing this quickly as a tutorial. So. Gonna want to move over to the polygon tool. And click. If you want a straight line, and you can um, press shift and move it down, it will go straight. But this isn't completely straight, as in downwards. So you can't really use it for this. And just simply go around the shape. And if you do, the only annoying thing about this is if you do mess up, you have to start over again. You can't like. Control Z and make it go back. So 
As I say, this one won't be perfect, so I'm just doing this quickly. And then now it's highlighted, press Ctrl J, Ctrl 0 to zoom back out. And see, so you'll have two different layers. Now move this one to the background, and I like to change the opacity down to about 60. So you can tell it that this is actually popping out. And unfortunately, this logo has gone a bit weird there, but just ignore that for now. I might, I don't know, I might do it a bit different. Well, actually, for this, I might actually be able to just simply move it down. I might get away with this. Yes, I actually got away with that, that's surprising. But usually we probably use a bit more, um, a bit more complex sort of one than this. So double click on the um, cutout, the cutout layer, and add a drop shadow, opacity up, distance down. And you do this just to add a bit of definition to it, so you can see it a bit better. Now add some text. Now. A lot of people will mainly just go, mainly use like Typograph Pro and things like that. I like to, I just I go with this one. It's like Z rod, I think you'd say. It. And I really like this one. It's just different. So I'm just gonna put Galaxy. Control T. Control T. Control T. Okay. Control T. Yeah, there we go. I want to move this up a little bit. No, I want it a bit less than that. Just move it up a slight bit. And go here. Look text. Bold. And you want this a lot lower. Probably around 20. Radical distortion. Just a little bit. And control J on this. Just to move it up. Create a clipping mask over this. Now, you're gonna want to have some effects inside a white. Um, I think that's pretty good. You can keep it like that. Distance. Same with this. Distance then. Just a little bit. Drop shadow again. Same. Don't want it too dark. So there. So there it is. It's a really simple tutorial, really easy to do. Um, I'll do another one. In a, I'll sh they'll like cut onto another one, just a different variation to do it. So I'll see you then. This is the first one. Really simple. This is the way I do them. And yeah, I'll join you later. Okay, what's up, guys? I'm back. And now I'll be doing a different variation. So what you're gonna do is control N, same again. Add that. Yeah, just do that. Add the same gradient again. Get the same logo. Just switch the size again with the shift just to keep the right size. Yeah, make that a bit smaller. Yeah, that's fine. Just my OCD there. Rasterizer my last time. Rasterizer there. Edit transform warp. Good to want to. Sorry, that. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, control transform. Computer's going a bit slow now again. Move that up a little bit. Just down there. Control J. Control J again. Control T. I don't know. So Same. Control Shift Alt and T. Keep on pressing that. Keep on tapping it to get around 20 or 21. <laughs> Sorry about that. Merge the layers, 
and um, same as last time. Give it a bit of a white effect. Maybe should I? Probably should have kept the same logo. You, you can you can always do different variations of this. You don't have to do it exactly the same as I am. Just like mess around with it, try something new. Um, also, if you want to see any GIMP tutorials on these, I do have them like so. It's basic, GIMP is basically the free Photoshop, pretty much the same. So, if you want one of them, just leave that in the comments. Now, this one is the easier version, easier way of doing it. I don't tend to do this one, so sorry if I kind of mess up. Uh, what do I do? Yeah, you blur, blur it out. Wrong blur. You want to use the Gaussian blur. Not too much, just a little bit. That's just about right. Um, you can cut it out. Sometimes you don't have to cut it out because it does look good, um, even when you don't cut it out. So again, with the polygon tool, I'm just going to go really quickly around this. Oh, damn. See, that's that's where you go wrong, just double click it, control D to deselect. Oh, wow, I'm doing it again. I'm just gonna have to get rid of this one because it's not really needed. I've done it again, bro. Just move this down. Like we did last time. That was a really new mistake, I did that again. With this um, sort of image, it doesn't look as good because it's like this Rubik's Cube is over the top of it, but you can use lots of different images, as you may have seen on my channel. So add text again. <sighs> Sorry for not talking as much in this one, but it's basically just exactly the same apart from the blur and that so. Around twenty again. Might just be a friend to me. You spend your time defending me, but me is all I tend to. Mm. Add the inner shadow. Red, that, colour, get rid of that. Duplicate this again. On top of this and clipping mask and there so that is the other way of doing it they're pretty much the same but with this one I wouldn't like usually when I do this I wouldn't cut this out because it looks really nice like this so yeah you could experiment with this if you do want to see a GIMP tutorial on how to do this then just leave that in the comments and I'll see you on my next video so yeah.